Hello everyone, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. We're going to start up a new colony in this episode and just kind of loosen it up a little bit. Uh, I'm recording this again on a Thursday like I do most of my videos. Um, I've been up for about four hours actually at this point. Uh, I'll, I'll talk more about why I've been up for so long as we go into this, but let's start a new game. And if it kept the information in here, let's see if it did. Nope, it didn't. Okay. So, mission sponsor. Uh, I was going through some of the comments. We're going to do Russia this time. So, five million, five billion in funding, three rockets, 100 starting applicants, 200 research per soul. The rare metals price is only 22 million, so we're not going to get a ton of money back on our rare metals. Uh, bonus tech is going to be fueled extractors. Extractor upgrade that boosts production but consumes fuel. The fueled extractors upgrade obviously is free. Uh, fuel refinery prefabs cost 50% less, but the rockets have the extended travel time. Commander profile, I've been wanting to do the city mayor. And I think we are going to do the city mayor, but let's kind of go through some of the options here. So an additional 2 billion in starting funding. Buildings require upkeep less often. And Mars Nouveau, building costs in metal and concrete reduced by 20%. We could actually use that to our advantage if we're going to be building a lot of stuff that metal and concrete is going to come in play i've already done an inventor i've already i don't think i've done an oligarch but that would be, work very well with the russia because of the fuel production increase on that um also get the bonus arcology hydro engineer i don't think i've actually done a hydro engineer playthrough yet doctor i think i have done before psychologist i don't think i've done yet Politician, if you really want to break the game, you can do a politician. You get Martian patents right out of the gate. For that one. Futurist, um, pretty sure I did that one already as well. Ecologist, service comforter decorations increased by 10. Also gives you the hanging gardens. Astrogeologist, I know I've done this one before. With the rare metal deposit discovered. And the rocket scientist gives you that extra rocket. But I want to do the city mayor, even though it actually reduces... Let me go back here. Uh, base difficulty right now is 300. Just by picking Russia, City Mayor drops it by 50%. So we drop down to 250 if we end up doing him. I almost want to do the Oligarch. Just because it's only going to drop it by 10%. City Mayor, I want to do a playthrough with. I wonder if an India playthrough with City Mayor would be a fun one. Yeah. Ugh. I really want to do City Mayor, but I think Oligarch's going to keep the difficulty level up to where I want to have it. Admittedly, the Ecologist, that would work very well because we, we could put a Hanging Garden in and just put the, uh, um, just put apartment buildings in the domes instead of doing houses so an ecologist may actually work here i was really just gung-ho going city mayor on this one but i'm kind of thinking oligarch trust me there's a lot of back and forth in my head on that one colony logo i think they have added one or if this is one that um is like special for russia i'm totally doing space communism <laughs> mystery wise though i am going to go for one of the easier ones um, I, I really wanted to do Wildfire or Metatron. I know there was a recommendation to do Metatron, but I think I'm gonna save that for a different playthrough. I want to do that with the uh, with the City Mayor and maybe Blue Sun, Blue Sun and Metatron. Maybe what I'm going for. But I'm kind of leaning to go. I think I was looking at AI or Philosopher's Stone. Let me uh, double check my notes here real quick. I'm pulling up my notes on my iPad. And I think my internet just died. Come on. Well, I'll put artificial intelligence for now while um, it's actually loading up.
Yeah, artificial intelligence. Eh. This one do. Actually, I'm gonna go the dredgers because I uh, actually see what that one can do for us. Uh, game rules. I know somebody want to do like a prefab colony. All of the other notes here. Fast rockets. I mean that really just. I mean end, also endless supply that kills your difficulty. That really just kills the difficulty on this one. If you go for uh, endless supply, easy research. Wow, is this a is that a new one? I think they've also upgraded it, so you have this here. Amateurs, that was an that was a recommendation. I definitely want to have in this one. Uh, da, 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 nope, 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 nope. All right, so definitely amateurs. Um, yeah, um, I'm okay with uh, no disaster. I'm, I'm I want to have disasters. Um, wow, yeah, yeah, they. Some of these are just. If we, if we wanted to do essentially do a a sandbox playthrough, I could probably do an hour. Just putting some of this stuff in here, just going ham on it. Fast scanning. Would love to have that one. It does it does decrease the uh Um It drops the difficulty down quite a bit if we do that. Actually it drops by a drops by a hundred if we do that. Wow. Easy maintenance. Chaos theory. I'm not. Uh, I almost want to do that one again, but at the same time, it's like I don't want to have no farms. I'm okay doing inflation. Armageddon. I would actually love to see with and just hear me out on this one. A new commander profile. The mad scientist. This is one I've actually been thinking about a while. Doing a mad scientist commander profile where the MDS lasers maybe don't need, like you automatically get MDS lasers and it's very similar to how we have it for the inventor, where you have the autonomous hubs. You have MDS lasers that don't require power or maintenance, but research can take longer or the scientists who work on the colony have a debuff to their... Uh, to their morale because they're working for a mad scientist. I think doing the mad scientist commander profile would be kick ass. And I gotta uh, write it up and actually put some more information to what I'm thinking on for that. So, this is what we're going into Russian oligarch, space communism for the logo. We're gonna do the dredger's mystery. We have the prefab colony active, we have amateurs, and we also have inflation active. We get the fueled extractors. And we get the Arcology automatically unlocked. We get a couple of orbital probes. We get some drones coming out of the gate. We just have the RC Commander. We don't have the Explorer yet. Prefab buildings, a moisture vaporator, a fuel refinery, and the Sterling generator. Yeah, that'll be good. But we're going to have to build a drone hub Mars side. And we do have some electronics in which to do that. Big thing is, we're going to have to find some concrete, track down some metals quick, and we'll hopefully get an RC transport on the next rocket. Oh, let's see what we got. Not bad. Low on concrete, though. We're going to need, uh, we're going to need some of that concrete, though. Low on water. Cold waves high there. Uh, dust storms. That's not bad. Steep topography. Olympus Mons, dust storms are high, cold waves are relatively high. Decent amount of resources on each. And we do have the prefab colony. That's not bad. Dust storms are high there, but we wouldn't get any meteors, dust devils, or cold waves. Relatively flat. Oh, 
Wow, that's a nice colony spot. If you're going to want to go with the cold waves, that's a one you're going to want to deal with. I don't I want to have the cold waves around 2. That um I think that's a good site. We'll get some dust devils, we'll get uh dust storms will definitely happen here. Water, concrete, metals, we got plenty there. Uh, let's go for it. 4 north, 66 west, 802 meters. Average temperature, minus 15 C. Relatively fat, fl relatively flat terrain. Hope it's going to be fat with resources. And I'm realizing now we spent about the first 11 minutes uh, just selecting where we're going to go. So I'll probably have this video going to around 35 minutes, I think, just to... Keep it nice and neat. Welcome to Mars. All right. Um, wow. Sector G4 already has quite a bit to work with, so we can land on the plateau here. There we go. Wow. Uh, let's take a look at what we have here. So we have some plenty of metals available right out of the gate. Let's see. Concrete, metals, rare metals down here. I'm wondering if we want to start up here and then maybe go down to this section and build more. There's plenty up here as well we can work with. Okay, come on, I need water in one of them. All right. And I'm not going to bring a rocket down just yet. Let's start uh, going through the techs. Um, increased research, always a good thing to start off with uh, via the Earth Mars Initiative. The fuel extractors and the arcologies already unlocked down here. Probes are cheaper and can deep scan. Drones and rovers move 20% faster. Low G drive, these are great starting techs. Um, absolutely doing Earth Mars Initiative first. That'll take five days to do. Then we'll go into low G drive. The Moxie upgrade, then the apartments, and we'll see what we have from there. I don't want to bring a rocket down until I know where the water is in this area. I don't even why why the hell did I do that one first? <sighs> going back to what I was talking about at the beginning of the video, uh, while we were letting the scanning going. Um, just haven't been sleeping well lately, and I think a lot of it is work stress, which this game is one of those things that helps alleviate my, my stress from work. Uh, you know, wedding, uh, stress about, you know, my upcoming wedding next year, the house that's, uh, being built. I think as soon as I'm done recording this video, I'm gonna zip, zip out to the house site and see what the status is. They're supposed to pour the foundation this week, but the day it was supposed to pour the foundation... We had a uh, heavy rain and thunderstorm, so if they did end up pouring the foundation, I'm going to be very cross with the builder, because why the hell would you pour foundation in a rainstorm? Work stresses, seems like no matter what you do, the work keeps coming. I've been trying to keep my keep afloat with uh, all the work that I've got for me. If there's water here, I'm totally okay bringing a site down, bringing a rocket down in this area. We'll collect up the metals, we'll hook up the concrete. There's 1,600 concrete in this area, right here alone. Got some research. I don't have anybody to explore them, yet. And also seeing that, uh... Oh wait, I have a Vaporator, what the hell am I doing? Okay, how many of you guys commented that? You got a Moisture Vaporator, Steve, you don't need to frick... You don't need a damn, uh... You don't need any of that crap. I can use Moisture Vaporators until I can locate a deposit in the ground, man. Like I said, I'm tired. All right, so we have recharge stations available. Oh, this is the pre this is the whole like starter colony thing. Six sterling generators. Holy cow! Concrete extractor, fuel refinery, 
a Moxie, an O2 tank, two moisture vaporators, a basic dome prefab, two living quarters. Holy crap. Let's uh, kick up the speed on this. You guys got you guys have things to unload. Um, what's on board? I'm not worried about sending it back up just yet. Um I think we put the Sterling Generators. What, what? Are you serious? We haven't explored that? Wow. This is going to be one of these days, isn't it? Alright. Much as I want to put a Sterling Generator, Sterling Generators up in that sector, they're not here yet. Okay. Also need a depot. Just a regular depot. And then we'll put a metals depot down. The prefab colony... Again, I'm getting used to this. It's been a very while. It's been a long while since I've played. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Sterling generators will link up to this guy. We'll drop the Vaporator down on that chain as well. And I'll put the Fuel Extractor out here or something, just to... Oh, fuel Refinery, there it is. Like, I am right on the edge of the sector. <laughs> Alright. Drone load is medium right now. That's fine. And I could instantly go to the fueled extractors on this. Uh, let's drop down a waste rock site. Still want to know what's down here. Alright. We're making fuel. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. Alright, so we got concrete being concreted. Um, since the water is pretty much just going straight into this, not really thinking we need to do anything else at the moment. Dropping down a drone hub would be pretty good, but I also want to know where I'm going to build. There's some good spots up here that would be worthwhile. Just gonna explore the uh, landscape now. There's some good spots for some big domes in this area. I think down here is gonna be a great area. Okay, that looks like where dust devils will form. That's kind of cool. Looks like we're still going on the Earth Mars initiative. Collecting up all the metals that are available. Ooh, wait. What the hell's wrong with me? There's a damn sensor tower. Oh. Don't play this game tired, folks. <laughs> oh my god. I would have had this... This would have been done. Probably 20 minutes ago. I know we've only been on the planet for about 6 minutes, but it would have been done long ago had I actually paid attention to that. Boom! Oh, hell yes! Plenty of water! That is great to see right there. Oh, and there's even metal within range of the rocket. Um... Yeah, I guess let's uh, build some water extractors if we can. Um, da -da 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 -da, it's a fuel refinery. Moisture vaporators, water extractors can be built uh, from the planet. You need to come over here. Hopefully you're in range of everything. Boom! Perfect. Then grab all that metal and zip it on over. Get that milestone away. Still doing this. The uh, progress bar I don't think is actually... Uh, 
active. And I'm wondering if I even... I don't think I turned on the mods for this either. So we'll get auto-explore and auto-gather set up when we bring those rockets down. Ooh, more concrete, more metals, more stuff. Good times being had on the red planet so far. Space communism working out. Dude, that big chunk of rock's gone. Oh, wow, we're even gonna go grab this stuff. Sweet! Sweet! Uh, it does need 50 fuel. I believe it drops down to 35? I can't remember what it drops down to once we get the uh, tech unlock. Now we do have an O2 tank power. Oof. The reason I was looking at the Sterling generators quizzically was that I wasn't sure if, uh, oh. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Oh, come on, just grab the last damn thing. Plenty of tech unlocks so far. I want to know that sector. Uh, down here, because if this is going to be a problem area, I don't want to build in this area, even though it's got a great flat spot. And kind of where I'm angling to put the colony up here, a tunnel down there would be great, but not if we're going to have the same problem we had during the Space Y colony. Alright. Oh, wait. Seriously? More? Wow! Sorry. Wow. Gotta do the, if you're going to say it, you got to say it like Owen Wilson. But, more... Oh, that's beautiful. And we'll put some more dumping sites out between these two. And let's see. With the extra water, I'm going to drop the extra refinery down. Sector scanned. Oh, I only found metal in that one. First time I haven't found uh, something cool. And apparently, I cannot uh, can't get those two in there. So we got the vaporator going. We got the water going. Rocket's almost uh, ready to go back. But let's get that drone hub set up. In a good spot that's going to cover a lot of this. I note I have not found any metals deposits. Um, we do have a nice big chunk of buildable area out here. But for metals refining, I may be stuck for a bit just gathering what's on the surface. 113 right now, not bad. I'm just going to let the drones grab everything first. Checking the time. Still doing good on that. We're at 42 of 50. How am I doing on supplies here? Uh, machine parts, I got 18 left. So I think we're going to need to bring some people down eventually. But again, it's a matter of where do we want to put them. I could put a dome right in this area. Relatively close to the concrete extractors, but most of the work inside the dome will be food production, machine parts. We don't have electronics. We can obviously do polymers. Alright. Let's send Proton One back. Wait for it. Oh, oh. Ruh -ruh. Hang on. Okay, now we gotta build a drone hub. Uh, let's see. Cape. Oh, stupid me. Well, it looks like our drone hub.
All right, so I want to put it like here just so I can get all of the water extractors taken care of. And I could probably put a second one over here, have that little bit of overlap and take care of a dome. If I put it down, this area honestly seems to be the right spot for a dome. Even though there's no metals around and most of the work will be inside the dome. This kind of makes sense. Now let's see. Life support. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Cool. And I'm looking for... Yeah, all we have are hydroponic farms. Hydroponic farms don't do a lot. And I almost want to wait and see what research we can get. So let's order another rocket. I think just those two. I've already got an RC commander. Two RC transports. We both know it. Alright, we'll send that back. Oh, yep, and we have another uh, set of metals that we can go collect upon. Also up here, there's 36. Right, we've made it to day 6, so which means we get a quick little autosave. Got 420... Waste rock still available. Wonder if I need to. I think I need to move this. Depot metals, artificial muscles is going to be a breakthrough. I'm heavily invested in getting because artificial muscles is the breakthrough that allows you to. Well, allows for the drones, excuse me, to move two resources. So it's not just ferrying one back and forth. It's ferrying two each way make this go much much quicker because right now we've got 90 or 85 metals that are just doing its thing let's see how are we doing on scanning yeah, I got a dust devil already over here okay so we have that scoring on the ground that's going to be an issue too if we start building out in this area I am aware of the metals out here, so hopefully when my uh, robots arrive. Research complete. Sweet! Extra research! We really need it right now. Um, live from Mars, more applicants starting to appear from Earth. It's a pretty good research to, to get. That's the wrong button. Well, we don't have any rockets available, so we can't even see how many people we have on Earth. We got three Vehicle days to get done. Low. Oh, that's right. I don't have the uh, technology for that yet. Forgot about that. Whoops. It's the it's the small things when you get into the late game, you forget that you have to take care of in the early game. Case in point, the RC commander batteries. I forgot about them. Even though it says right there. Once he's fully juiced up, there we go. We'll bring him off the grid. Because again, sector scanned, anomaly found. Wow, look at this. So we have one, two, three, four keys. We have two raw research available to us, and this is just on the plateau. We still have the lowlands to ex uh, to explore. And once I get automated sensor, once I get the sensor tower automation done, automated sensors, once I get that done, I'll start littering the landscape with these things. They'll be everywhere. Okay. Still thinking about putting a dome here, but I also don't have a moxie down. Which, I could put that down at any time. Let's actually do that. Let's put the moxie down. Let's get start putting some tanks down. Let's get some life support going on the planet. Might as well start filling them up. Still have more vaporators, which are great. Um, don't have any prefab... Oh, whoopsies. I should have bought these when I brought that rocket over. 
Still have more Sterling generators, so I get more power. Recharge stations. I can just drop these almost anywhere. Just to see, where can I tuck one in? I can tuck one there. And there. And... I want to tuck one there, too. A couple extra spots for the drones to get a top off. So now we have a rocket back on Earth. And... So the flaws... We're going to reject all the flaws out of the gate. When we bring people over. Perks, definitely don't want any tourists right now. Vegans, I'm totally on board with. Perks... No geniuses, no celebs, unfortunately. Um, sexy, just to, that just increases the birth rate. The people, party animal enthusiasts, that's always good. Composed, very helpful for us. Workaholic, um, yeah, you want to have workaholics here. Specializations, we have no specs. And age groups, no kids, no seniors, obviously. But that's what we're going to be working with when we bring out some colonists. We're not going to do that, of course, in this episode because we haven't built the dome. I see that our storage at the fuel refineries is starting to get up there. So I'm going to put my fuel depot out there. Of course, if a meteor hits it, it's just going to blow up the fuel. It's not shouldn't take this out. I really hope it doesn't take that out. But there's a bunch of fuel being stored there. Let's get that off site. Machine parts, machine parts, machine parts. Yeah. We are going to see the slow drain on machine parts. You were not able to get to that? No, I guess this is just outside of its range. Oh no, he's heading up there. There are more metals that I want to collect up as well. New rocket coming down. Oh, and I can actually put them very close to the fuel. In theory, we can have a landing pad up here just for cargo. In hindsight, I could have brought, I could have built a cargo uh, landing pad. Let's start talking English soon. All right, let's start exploring stuff. Uh, start scanning. Oh wait, auto gather is active. Sweet. Um, I don't think I have auto research uh, installed, but that wouldn't take long for me to to get done. No, it's the power. I only have a seven surplus right now. Bringing down those prefabs would have been a smart idea. Not getting those was a foolish mistake. Plus side is we have enough fuel. So Anomaly analyzed. Miles. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Logi fungi and productivity training now available. Logi fungi fungal farms now available for us. That's a great research. Engineers and geologists have a plus 10 performance. We don't have this yet, but once we get Mars University up and running, we will. Um, I'm actually going to turn that off and queue up that one because Logi Fungi is a really good tech, I think. I swear if this one gets uh, damaged quickly, I'm not going to be surprised. All right, so I'm going to build a landing pad up here. And that's just going to be for the, uh... Be a robot. I may move the fuel up to this corner. In fact, uh, let's get that prep now. Just to keep it as far away from the colony as I can. I want to keep the fuel There's away. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet yes! than meets the eye. A veritable treasure This tech trove right here. Soil adaptation. Farms. Water reclamation. Done. Sweet. Now we have some great resources that's going to help us put some people on the planet. Auto gather. 
keeping these guys going. Thirty-nine of fourteen. That's not a typo. That's actually what it says. <clears throat> Probably glitching out. Um, we're going to scan these last two anomalies, and that's where I'm going to wrap up the episode. Next episode, I do know I want to put a dome down. It's probably going to go right here, since we have access to the farm, since we're going to be going for the low G. Wait. Plenty of metals. I'm loving it. Put another metals depot down here, and we're going to put the universal, universal depot here, but turn off fuel. Demo that one. Move all the uh, components over to here. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environment. Extractor amplification, systematic training. So we have we're starting to get these abilities. Once we get our people trained up, we're going to be able to give them that boost. Yeah, I guess there's like thirty nine here. Uh, nope, I thought that was, I was going to solve it. Vehicle I just, battery low. Oh no. Abort your research. So yeah, those mu we need the artificial muscles. Badly. <laughs> he better not lose power. May need to drop another sterling generator down just to keep us power positive. Let's also build power accumulator just to have that in play. And we'll drop another SG there. Research complete. Sweet. Drones and rovers move just a wee bit faster. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Ooh! I think this is for... No, that could be like a tech boost. OG drive. So yeah, magnetic filter, we're gonna get the moxie upgrade. We really don't need the moxie upgrade actually right now. Drone swarm, that's a really good one to get. Man, a lot of good technologies coming out early. Wow, that one is full. So I guess it was they had 39 in that one. And not a 14 for some stupid reason. Don't want to use the anomalies until we have something bigger that we want to research fast, like the farms or the fungal farms, obviously. Anomaly and there's more to the barren environment. Logi hydrosynthesis, polymer factory, and fuel refineries. You can start building planet side and the Mars crowdfunding. Quick billion in cash. Uh, let's go explore this one. And once we get all the fuel moved over, then we'll wrap up the episode there. So we've got a nice little compact area that we're starting off with for the colony site. I think our basic dome is going to go here. Dust storm approaching. Ooh. So we got our first disaster that we're going to have in the next episode. Start disabling non-vital buildings that consume these resources prior to prior and during the dust storm will help get by unavailable resources. That's a nice little tip for new players in the game. But we'll deal with the dust storm in the next episode. I was going to say, it's a good spot to put a basic dome here, and then maybe start building out this way with domes. Maybe up this way, too. Probably put in, if we get a diamond dome, a diamond dome I think would go great right here. A little trigon dome, maybe. But a basic dome here would be pretty good. Also, building out this way if we wanted to build two different sets of research. Wow, look at that. So much metal available here. My robots are going to be so happy. For a second, I thought this was a rocket coming this way. It does take a while. Stretching for the rockets to get to and from. So plasma rocket is another breakthrough I'm going to be keeping an eye on. There were for. no secrets to find near the anomaly site. Just a scene of breathtaking beauty. Okay, that was actually disappointing. A celebrity applicant available from Earth. I could take that. But uh, let's see what this celebrity applicant has available to him. They have our... They, uh... 
All right, so we may have a celeb coming down with the first rocket. And of course, we'll be meeting them all in the next episode. Like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video, comrades.